Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and I am here with 37 scenario of Apex Trigger Scenario series. So without any further delay, let's get started. Now to set the foundation of today's scenario, let's start with data model. So in today's scenario, opportunity contact role will be the target object or you can say the object on which we are going to work today. Wait, opportunity contact role? Don't worry, let me explain it to you. So opportunity contact role define the role that a contact plays in a deal or we can say in an opportunity. Basically, in Salesforce, there is no direct relationship between contact and opportunity, but they are connected with each other by many-to-many -many relationship through an object called opportunity contact role. So this is all about data model. Now let's understand what is the requirement for today. So in today's scenario, we need to perform two tasks. First, we need to prevent duplication of opportunity contact role. And second, we need to prevent insertion of opportunity contact role on closed opportunities. Let's understand the requirement more clearly using flow diagram. Suppose there is a user and he is inserting a contact role on an opportunity. Now there will be two scenarios. First, if the opportunity is closed, which means if the stage name of opportunity is closed one or closed lost, then in that case, we need to prevent insertion of contact role by showing error. Second scenario, if the contact role is already present, then in that case, we need to prevent insertion by again showing an error message. Let's take an example. Let's say a contact record con1 is already present on opportunity as contact role and a user try to insert that contact con1 again on same opportunity. Then in that case, we need to show error. So this is what we are going to do today. Now let's skip the boring theory part and let's start with the code. Create our handler class. Let's say trigger handler. Create our method public static void trg method now as i already told you that opportunity contact role will be our target object so let's pass a list of opportunity contact role as parameter in our method list opportunity contact role let's say new record list in this list we will pass trigger.new from our trigger therefore this list will have the records which are being inserted copy its name and apply a null check on it. If not new record list today is empty and iterate over it, opportunity contact role, OCR and list name. So just like old days, we have passed list in our method, applied null check and iterated over it. Now what? Guys look, before writing code for any scenario, it is always a good idea to make a list of everything you will need in your code like ID or field value or any other thing. It will definitely help you. And in case of today's scenario, we'll be needing opportunity ID and contact ID to start our code. So what we'll do, we will store both contact ID and opportunity ID in sets. So let's create two sets. First for opportunity ID. Opportunity ID is set ID and second for contact id new set id now apply null check on opportunity id like this opportunity id not equals to null and store it in this set copy its name paste it here dot add similarly for contact id if OCR dot contact ID not equals to null, copy this set name, paste it here, dot add OCR dot contact ID. Now, according to the requirement, we need to show error based on opportunity stage and also on existing contact role. So, in next step, what we will do, we will search data for both cases. First, let's search parent opportunity of the contact role record which is being inserted, like this id comma opportunity opportunities map new map id comma opportunity select id comma is closed from opportunity where id in this set copy this set name paste it here and second fetch contact role 
whose contact ID and opportunity ID are present in this set. So let's fetch it for opportunity contact role. Let's say existing role, select ID, comma contact ID, comma opportunity ID, from opportunity contact role, where contact ID is in this set and opportunity ID is in this set. And after fetching, we will store its data in a map, which will be then used to check that whether a duplicate contact role is present or not. So let's create a map to store its information. Map string opportunity contact role. Let's say existing roles map. String opportunity contact role. And now what we will do, we will put both contact ID and opportunity ID in key of this map and contact role in value. So copy its name, paste it here, dot put existing role, dot opportunity ID, existing role, dot contact ID in key and existing role in value. See, the reason of putting both opportunity ID and contact ID in this map is to create a unique identifier for each record. Let's take a simple example. Imagine you have a list of people and you want to keep track of whether each person has attended a specific event or not. You could use event name and person name as the unique identifier. In this case, the opportunity ID represents the event and the contact ID represents the person. Later on, when processing new opportunity contact role records, the code will check if existing roles map already contains a record with same opportunity ID and contact ID. If it finds a match, it means that a contact role already exists for that opportunity and contact. Now in next step, we will again iterate over this list. So copy its name for opportunity contact role, let's say OCR record, list name. Create an instance of opportunity using opportunities map like this. Opportunity, let's say related or copy this map name, paste it here, dot get OCR record dot opportunity ID. Now this is the first part of our code in which we need to show error if opportunity is closed. So first apply a null check on this opportunity like this, related or not equals to null and second apply a check that whether it is closed or not like this related op dot is closed and if this condition will get true then we will show error ocr record dot add error cannot create opportunity contact role on a closed opportunity so first part of our code has been completed. Now let's come to second part, which is we need to show error if there is a duplicate contact role is present. But before that, let's create a variable string key. And in this variable, we will store both opportunity ID and contact ID of the record, which is being inserted in a similar way that we did here. So let's store it OCR record dot opportunity ID. plus OCR record dot contact ID and now apply another check that if this key is present in key of this map or not like this if existing roles map to contains key pass the variable and if this condition will get true which means if contact role is already present then we will show error message OCR record dot add error contact role already exists on the opportunity. Save it and apply it to work. Okay, it is successfully deployed. So we have our handler class ready. Now let's create a trigger. Let's name it OPP con role trigger. 
a trigger will be on opportunity contact role with before insert event. Why before insert event? Because we need to prevent insertion. So let's write opportunity contact role here with before insert and apply a check to call our handler class method only on before insert event like this. If trigger dot is four and trigger dot is insert and finally call our handler class method. Trigger handler dot trg method and pass trigger dot new. Save it and deploy it to work. It is successfully deployed. Now we have our code ready. It's time to see it in action. So let's go to our org. So here we have two opportunity records. Let's open this one, which is closed. And now let's try to insert a contact role on this opportunity. Add contact roles. Let's say cone one. If our trigger is correct, then after clicking on save button, we will get an error message. Let's see. See the error message has come stating that cannot create opportunity contact role on a closed opportunity. Let's change its stage name. And now again try to insert a contact role. Let's save it. Okay, it gets saved. So our code is working fine for first task. Now let's test our code for second task. Let's try to insert this same contact again. At contact roles, cone one, click on next, save. So as you can see that this contact is not getting saved. We can see the error message clearly that contact role already exists on the opportunity, which means our code is working correctly. So that's it for today, guys. And I'll be back with more interesting figure scenarios. Thank you and keep watching.